What's up guys, Darren here from Darren On Demand. Sorry it's been such a long time since I've posted a video. Um, I've been working on our new clothing brand, Coastal Apparel, uh, inspired by us living here in Spain. So I wanted to, today, is actually run through a video showing you how I create a free layer vinyl design with the wording coastal that will run across a t-shirt front. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I actually create the, the layers and then how I actually um, change it from Photoshop and send it over to our cilia, a silhouette Cameo for software. So without further ado guys, let's jump in and I'll take you on to our uh, iMac and we'll take it from there. Okay guys, so we're in Photoshop now, and um, most of you who use Photoshop would probably know how to get around and do bits and pieces on here. I open a new page and have it as a transparent background so that there's no white or black in the background. I then type the word coastal. I've already done it here. This is gonna be a different text that I, than I normally use, but it's again, just to give you an idea. So I've typed the word coastal. Now, down here where it says coastal, if you double click it, it opens up a layer style. Now with layer style, you turn on the, the stroke. Now with the stroke, I've done that stroke color in red with a size of six points and the position to be on the outside so that you can see that it does it on the outside of the black. If you were to do it on the inside, it would look like that. If you were to do it on the center, it would look like that. So very thin black line. So I always do it on the outside to give the section that you can see there. So click OK. That is now your first layer. So from there, I would actually flatten that layer. But when you flatten the layer, it will actually paint the background in white as well which it doesn't matter at the minute but you won't really want that when you bring it into a uh, silhouette cameo so what you then do click the eraser tool and the magic eraser and from there you will actually click on the black on the inside so you can see it's taken out the black and same again there so now the coastal has no black inside it's actually hollow so then the white you see on the outer side again click anywhere there and remove all the excess white that you can see from there save save it as a png i will actually just save it to my desktop so it's actually easy to find i already have it there so i will just replace that background so that will then show there as you can see i've just got it saved to my back uh, saved to my actual backdrop so i have already opened it up in silhouette so let me just delete this so you can see how i actually bring it in so just drag the screen down slightly so that you can see your writing and drag it in that is it that is as simple as it is in regards to bringing writing or picture into silhouette studio so from there you need to make this a cut line and to do that you have to trace it so you go to the trace tool which is the fifth one down click the click the trace area and from here you will actually select the wording so you'll see it gives you this yellow outline, which is what will be traced when it actually cuts. So you say trace. Once it's traced, it doesn't look any different till you pull it away. Once you pull it away, you can act, this is the actual PNG file, which you don't need anymore. So take that off the page. And what you'll see is this. This is the actual cut file itself. So you'll see that you'll have 
the section inside see if I can zoom in because obviously on the camera so you'll have this section inside and this outer cut so this is the actual cut image but what you want to do is you want to change it so that you don't have this small one on the inside and let me show you why so what we want to do let me zoom back out again we want to select this file object select it go up to object and do release compound path now what that's actually doing is it's breaking down all the lines that you see so for instance drag this bit in the middle and can you see it actually removes didn't want to remove that bit it actually removes all the outer all the outer sections then you can leave that and you just need to bring this one down as well so this first one will be your very back layer so this will be your white so we want to remove all these small bits because they're not needed none of these small bits are needed because this is going to be your first solid layer so what we'll do is we'll select these two sections because obviously they're split because they're not joined together and we'll do group that way then when I move this it all moves together so that's going to be the first layer that's going to be the white layer the next layer is going to be this section what we've just pulled out of the bottom so what we'll do is again we'll group them together and they will become let's just say I don't know let's just say a black layer yeah this will be a black layer so then what we'll do is we'll go up to this paint palette we'll select this and I think what I'll actually do is I'll make a, an even bigger back layer to this. So this will actually be the middle layer. So let's just choose a color for instance. Okay, so I'm gonna do this as red. So it's gonna fill the whole thing red. I'm now going to duplicate this layer So I've now got three separate layers. So with this, what I want to do is I want to go to this star with an outer edge, which I don't know if you can see here. You need this, which is open the offset panel. Once you open that and click offset, you'll see it's produced another line around the outside now if you want this bigger you just click to how big you want it to be so I've got it as 270 280 so let's say for instance I want it as 3.5 just watch so 3.5 and there you have a bigger layer so once I've got that once I've got that layer I can remove what I just duplicated. So I can take that out completely and fill this in 
fill this in a color of my choice so this is I'm just doing this so that you can see the different vinyls that the different vinyl sizes that I would actually use so this one let's just say I'm going to do it in black then when you put this over the top so I'll need to bring it to the front because obviously I create that layer so there's the second layer so the third layer because I actually split it down I will need to ungroup and I'll group that together and then I'll group this section together because I think it just went a different size when I actually put it for so again you need to select all this bring it to the front so that then when you do raise it up bring to the front Let's, let's. I'm just doing this off the cuff guys so uh, just bear with me so select all that I will group these two layers together and send to the back so bring this to the front right to the front okay not Send to the back. Okay. So this next stage, this one, is actually going to be another colour. So I will select this as white. So I will bring this down. And as you can see there, there is now three layers. Let's just zoom in so you can see. So there is now three layers. So you have the back layer, which is black, the middle layer, which is red, and then the final layer which is white so when I go over to the print option you'll see that the whole page is actually lit up what I need to do is you need to go to fills and unselect everything you will actually then see all these boxes unchecked and nothing here is actually selected so I can then say that I just want to print or cut black vinyl so I turn on the black and you'll see the black line has actually lit up so from there I will be able to cut the first layer of black so then I go back to my box, uncheck the black, pick the red, and then all you'll see is the red outline is actually picked. So that's the second layer. And then you go back to the fill box, untick the red, and you tick the white. And then what you'll see is it's actually picked the white so you can see a red line around the white so that will then be the three layers that will then produce the picture that I will put up on the screen obviously I did them in different colors but you'll actually see from this t-shirt it was a sublimation t-shirt that started out as a sublimation t-shirt. I bleached it and then I actually put the three layers of vinyl on. So I'll also upload that video as well so that you can see how I actually heat pressed it onto the actual t-shirt itself. So guys, that was just a bit of a 
off the cuff demonstration on how I actually cut a free layered vinyl. Um, it was a little bit higgledy piggledy here and there, but to the end it'll actually show you how it actually all come together. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you a picture of the actual t-shirt that I pressed with the free layer, uh, which will be here. I'll post that up here. And then what I'll also do is run another video, uh, which is only about a minute, minute and a half long, but I'll put that up as a separate video. And that video will actually show me pressing the actual free layers of vinyl actually onto a t-shirt that I had already died using bleach so yes guys i'm back i'm not going to be doing as many videos as i was doing before because i am focusing a lot on tiktok um so if you don't follow me on tiktok or if you have a tiktok account go over and look for coastal apparel i'm actually there and i have quite a few videos on there um doing bits and pieces so please if you like the video guys smash that like button uh subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed because i noticed that from the analytics that the majority of people that actually watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel which is quite sad really that uh more people actually view my videos that aren't subscribed to the people that actually are so if you can subscribe and actually watch the video it would be amazing uh share onto your page tell your friends and family and if anyone's interested in purchasing a t-shirt from us you can actually go over to our website which is coastal-apparel.net and lots of our products are actually up online now um, the shop is open 24 hours a day new products will be added whenever i can and you can buy uh, and pay via paypal uh, using the credit card or debit card facility that is there. Uh, all prices shown are plus shipping and when you actually buy the product it will tell you what your shipping cost is to your destination. So hopefully guys you will see me more back on here on YouTube um, but if you do like TikTok please go over to TikTok and also follow us on Instagram as well. But until the next time guys thank you ever so much. This is Darren from Darren On Demand and remember Demand nothing less. See you on the other side. Peace.